Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm looking at bio stenosis baskets and how we make them. You can get this off eBay, um, I'll put a link in the description. And bio stenosis is basically an oxic filtration. And what that means is, is that you have an iron core, or iron ferrite, you can get that from, I think fluorite, Seachem fluorite red is based on that and catty litter around the outside and it draws it through and it removes nitrates so I'm going to be testing that so I've got I've cut out this which is obviously a, as a cube every side is going to be identical and you want six of them so I've got six of them and I've also got some cable ties so we're going to cable tie this together and we're going to make one up and I'm going to do a test now this normally takes up to two months to work so I'm kind of hoping that we can get something done today so if you, I'm going to trim up the edges make them all neat you need them all as neat as possible to make it as square as possible and then we'll stick it together with these so bear with me guys okay so all you want to do is when you get these and you've trimmed up all the edges nicely uh, basically you want to get one of these and you want to put it through like this okay these are actually quite fat for this but these are the smallest ones I could find and you're going to be putting them through here okay this is the wheeziest way i found to do it and then just get another one and slide it on like that okay so you're making sure i don't think you see that guys let's have a look yeah so that's basically how you're going to do it so you're going to slide them together like like a pages in a book so let's do that one here like that yeah and then when you fold it you can see now that that's going to join together okay so we're going to put that through there like so all fingers and thumbs today like that now if you pick one to be the base and the top there you go like that okay so that's going to be your first step if you like and then obviously when you go around i'm going to use this one as the base it doesn't really matter you put it through the number two hole instead of number one hole. So if you can see that there. I don't know if you can see that. Through here. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to get another one. Just to show you what I mean. And again, you're going to go through the same way. Let's get a couple of cable ties. So what you do is you go through here like so. This is number the two hole. Like that. Another one like that, okay. And then again, pages of a book. So you could actually put these together, that's what I was doing earlier. So I was actually putting these together and just folding them in. As long as you choose one to be the base, you'll never go wrong. And we're going to do that all the way around. So let me finish that bit off, and then you'll see how we get on with the base, all right. Okay, so what we've done now is we've put these all together and I'm going to pull these tight, yeah? Not too tight, just a little bit tight. Now, some people prefer the actual lock part, which is the bulbous part of the clip or the cable tie or zip tie. Every country seems to have its own, but I prefer them on the outside, so you turn it over and now you can see that the box is actually coming together. So that's getting quite cool. Yeah, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a cable tie through here and we'll do it the same way. Um, so let me show you that, let me get a cable tie. Um, what you want to do do it on the top like so just put one through there and one through there again don't tighten these up straight away you're gonna do that yeah so you got it like that and you're gonna do it with all the same edges so let me get three, three more you go three more so one now this I've done on 
about I've got a bigger one that I'm going to use in the 240 litre and this one's going to go in the 100 litre we're going to test how this works because it's a new type of filtration I believe it's been in the Koi hobby for a while but again I'm not 100% sure about that so let's get this all nice and ready to go so here we go look it's coming to shape now obviously we can trim this up make it neater you might have to put extra cable ties depending on the weight of the material you're using but for my video today I'm just going to put this in here to show you now there you go there's your box and obviously this part is going to be your lid so I'm going to show you that in a second and see how we get on it's looking good Okay, and what I've done is I've now gone round and put some extras here, 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 all the way round, okay? And that's to give it some nice weight to it. Uh, get about a fist in there. Uh, right, I'm going to trim all these up. Um, actually, should I trim them up or should I put the lid on first? Let's put the lid on. Now, obviously, you're only going to put this on one edge. And then what I do is I put the cable ties I require in there because when we put the substance in now when you're making these what you're going to need I'll make a list of the supplies you're going to need um, red fluorite by Seacam that'll be your um, iron source um, any non-clumping non-scented catty litter will do for the outside you can actually put plants in these by the way so they might go be good for say sickly tanks um, put an Anubis on top or something like that with a piece of wood um, the cable ties you can get anywhere the smallest ones and this meshing I got mine off eBay so I'll show you that as well um, I'll put links for all the stuff that I've used anyway so I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna trim it all up and we'll have a look at the finished product be with it okay so that is your basket now I'm gonna be doing a lot of research on these because I think it's dr. Novak um, which I'll put a link to his YouTube channel um, have a look tell me what you think I think this is going to be quite a good idea I've ordered the catty litter catty litter it's basically clay okay um, and again you want the unscented unclumping version you know what turn to mush but I kind of like the idea now this will take out nitrates this is going to be a nitrate it basically converts nitrates to nitrogen so we're going to see how that goes um, I've done a few of these different sizes so I'm going to be trying them differently um, I'm also going to be trying them with something else um, but that's going to be for another video purely because I kind of like the idea of these I think this is a good idea okay guys give me a second and I shall get this filled up and I shall show you how I fill them up and how I do it so this is what we're going to use um, for the baskets and this is catty litter, it's just basically uh, a clay, it's a non-clumping, non-scented. And this, which is going to be the core, um, if you go for the fluorite red, it is rich in iron, and which is what you need. Um, and again, both of these are natural products, so it should be quite good. So I'm going to start putting them in now. What I tend to do is I'm going to wash these after I've put them in the basket, but before I put them in the tank. So I think they'll be quite good. Uh, we're going to see how it goes. Okay, so I made this tube out of uh, an uplift pipe, basically from two sponge filters. And I'm going to put that in the middle roughly. Okay, now I'm going to gradually tip some of this in. Um, let's see what we can do. I think when you do this, you make sure you use anything, any tool you use, make sure it's clean. Um, you don't want any particular bad stuff over it, do you? So, just keep putting that in until you can let go. There we go. I'll keep making mess. It's, uh, there you go. And that's basically what you're going to do. You're going to fill that up. And what I'm going to do is, I'm, at this point, I'm going to stick a handful of the iron stuff in there like this. Okay, just going to mix it up a little bit. Okay. Um, that's just to draw it in a bit. I mean, you can never have too much. 
couple of layers of this won't hurt but I do want to keep the core pure so that'll be about right for that so I'm going to stick some more in there we go so now you're going to get the idea of where we're going with this yeah that looks quite neat doesn't it and then just a little bit more there you go right. remember that's going to move slightly because this is going to move slightly which is all right it don't matter um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put this down the center so we're going to do that let's put that back and we're going to get some of the graphite and tip it down the center you can't really use um, anything like a well, I suppose you could use some kind of sieve to get out the big bits and little bits, but there's no point. It all does the same job at the same day, so we're just not going to worry about that. And then what I'm going to do, I don't think, yeah, I don't think this is going to be a good idea. So let me try something different. Bear with me a minute. Okay, I found this. So let's see if it goes in. Yeah, it'll go in. That's good. And then we're going to make it up right to the top if possible you can use um, some ferrite I think they're called ferrite tablets they're quite good there you go whatever's left goes back in the jar and you could do this with any kind of basket really um, but I think that looks alright so remember this is going to be quite a tight squeeze so Let's just fill up some more of this around here. And put some more of this in there as well. Just gently put it around a little bit. That's it. Right. You can put plants in this, but for the sake of the video and how I'm going to test this, I don't want to do that. So there you go. That's now quite a nice portion. And then what we're going to do, we're going to secure the top. So let me secure the top and we'll get back to it, alright? okay so there is the finished item now the next thing i'm going to do is do a test with this and one which is mixed 50 50 uh, and we're going to see which one sort of reaps the right rewards and i do believe that having the core which sucks all the ions through that material does make sense so i'm quite interested to see if this will remove nitrates my tap water has uh, from the tap has 50 parts per million so in theory if I stick this into a bucket of water with nothing else in there I'm gonna have a control bucket so we're gonna have one next to it with absolutely nothing in it and I'm gonna see if it does actually take nitrates out of water so there you go guys that is a biosynosis anoxic filter basket guys take care thanks for watching